If you have a garage and you like building things in that garage, then this video is for you. More specifically, we're gonna look at table saw dust collection with a shop vac dust deputy setup versus a single phase, one and three quarter horsepower industrial dust collector. We're gonna take a look at the cost, how loud each of the systems are, then we'll see how well do they actually collect dust. And then finally, I'm gonna let you know which system I'm ultimately gonna choose for my garage workshop. If we look at the one and three quarter horsepower dust collector from King Canada, that costs $370 American. If we look over at the shop vac system, that's comprised of the rigid vacuum, which is 80 bucks US, and the dust deputy, which is $50 for a total of $130 American and a savings of 240 bucks. <laughs> to figure out how loud these units are, I have my sound meter. I'm holding it about four feet away from each of the systems. The shop vac is coming in at about 80 and a half decibels. And surprisingly, the industrial collector is coming in at 78.1 decibels. And the overall tone is noticeably quieter and more pleasing to the ear. To test out the dust collection capabilities of each of the systems, we're going to do two tests. I'm going to test out the wind speed each of the system generates right at the point of dust collection in the table saw. Then I'm going to do 25 cuts with each system into a sheet of melamine and we'll see how much dust each of them collects. To test out the wind speed, I first hooked up the shop vac system, then I pretty much took my animator and stuck it in right at the point of dust collection. The shop vac came out to 2.2 meters per second. Next, I checked out the industrial system. That came out to a whopping 6.1 meters per second. Look at me, I'm flying! I'm oh, no, wait, maybe not. Next up is the cut test with the shop vac and with some heavy duty figuring we can see that it collected 152 grams of sawdust. Then I hooked up the industrial dust collector and you can see with a few more calculations that it only collected 158 grams of sawdust. So six more grams for that which is kind of surprising considering that the wind speed it generates is almost three times that of the shop vac. So I grabbed this industrial dust collector about six months ago from a cabinet shop that was getting some new equipment. I got a great deal on it, 100 bucks Canadian, and it's just been sitting in my garage waiting for me to test it out. So even though this dust collector is quite a bit quieter and it collects dust slightly better than the shop vac system, for me, I'm going to end up keeping the shop vac system for two reasons. Number one, it's so much easier to empty this canister out. You just pop the lid off, dump it in the can, pop the lid back on, and you're back in business. With these industrial setups, it can be a real chore to take the bag on and off. And then you have to clean the filter. With this vacuum over here, with this dust separator system, the filter never actually gets clogged up, so you never really have to clean that. It's a very bulletproof system. Yeah, it doesn't collect dust quite as well, but it's pretty close as you can see by the tests. And then the second, the most important reason for me is space. This thing is enormous. I'm just in a family garage here, so it is full of crap. <laughs> Every single day, there's just more crap coming in here. And hey, if you want to see one of my absolute best little tip videos that's very short, pretty funny in my opinion, check out this video right here versus and see how much dust each of the collection systems frippin f is that which dust collection system could suck a bird out of the sky